Hey guys, this is Balu from Balu Prime and once again welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you how we can create this Pac-Man animations in Blender easily. So hope you guys will find this tutorial useful but before going to that if you end up liking this video please click on that like button do share this content and if you are new to this channel consider subscribing my channel and support me. And by the way if you like short 3D simulation videos you can check out my second channel link in the description. So now without any further ado let's start today's video. So here you can see I'm using Blender 3.1. Nice. So first of all, let's select everything in this default scene by pressing A on the keyboard and delete. So now let's start this by using a sphere. So go to this add mesh, select this UV sphere here. So press S and increase the scaling. Let me press 3 for side view and let me place this just above to the grid here. Okay. So now press tab on the keyboard for edit mode. Move to this edge selection and later hold alt key and select this edge here so that all the edges will be selected after that press v on the keyboard to cut them okay and then move on to this face selection now select any of the face here now press ctrl l to select the linked edges or linked faces sorry so now press p on the keyboard and select this by selection so now we will get two halves here so if i press tab on the keyboard so this will be one half and this will be one half okay so here if i bring this up so here you can see we are getting this hollow space so now we need to fill that one so let me select this above half press tab on the keyboard for edit mode change this to edge selection hold alt key and select this edge here now press e on the keyboard press s and let me scale it downwards like this inside and now press f to fill it now again press tab to exit that edit mode now in the same way select this below half sphere press tab to edit mode select this edge selection and hold alt key and select these edges here now press e s let me scale it inwards and press f to fill it up okay so now we got this filled so now let me place this as it is so let bring this edge here so let's bring this here okay nice so now again press tab on the keyboard let me add some edge loops here so press ctrl r and drag this edge loop here like this and now press tab to exit the edit mode now select this below half sphere go to edit mode ctrl r and add an edge loop here okay so now being selected this half sphere come to this modifier options add modifier add subdivision surface and let me increase this levels to 2 and right click shade smooth so repeat the same with this above one so add modifier add subdivision surface increase this level view right click shade smooth okay so now let's see how we can animate this pac-man so for that first let me press 3 once again now select this above house pier and let me place this close to this so i think this is fine so now select this above half pier select this rotate tool beyond the first frame press i on the keyboard and add a keyframe for rotation so in the same way select this below one press i r add a keyframe for rotation and now move 10 frames forward so beyond this 10th frame now select this below one and let me rotate this here like minus 45 degree and add a keyframe now select this above one and let me rotate this in this direction that is press 45 degree and add a keyframe okay so now again move 10 frames forward beyond this 20th frame copy this first keyframe copy and paste it again select this below layer or below mesh select this first keyframe copy and paste okay so now if i play this you can see we got this animation but we want this animation to be throughout the timeline so here we can copy the keyframes and paste them to all this timeline or else we can simply select this above sphere where the keyframes were added and let me change this to graph editor so now we have added the keyframes for this above half sphere to this x rotation so select this x rotation come to this modifier options if you are not finding these options press n on the keyboard to get them after that come to this modifier options add modifier and add these cycles 
So now if I play this, you can see we got that above half animating continuously throughout the timeline. So now let's repeat the same with below sphere. So select this half sphere. Let me be on the first frame once again. So expand this one, select this. So this is X rotation. So select the X rotation. So come to the modifier once again, add modifier and add cycles. So now if I play this, you can see we got this Pac-Man animation done. So let's move back to the timeline. So now let's add eyes onto this Pac-Man. So for that, go to this add mesh, select the circle and let me place the circle here. So now being selected this circle, press tab on the keyboard for edit mode, press A to select all the vertices. Now press E and S to extrude them inward. And again, press E S to extrude inward like this and press F to fill that gap. Now you can press tab to exit that edit mode. So now press S and reduce the scaling and now roughly let me place this. So let me rotate this one and let me place this here like this. Okay. So you can adjust the scaling as per your wish. So I will leave this like that only. So now being selected this I come to this modifier options, add modifier and add shrink wrap modifier. So after that, Wrap method, let it be nearest surface point. Target, select this above sphere. So now you can see we got that circle based here. So now again come to this add modifier options and add solidify modifier. And let me increase this thickness in negative words. So I think this much of thickness is fine. So after that, right click shade smooth if you want. Okay. So if you want, you can add subdivisions. So again, Come to this add modifier, add subdivision surface so that we get some smoothness here. So if you want to reduce the scaling, press S and reduce the scaling here. So I think this much is fine. So after that, we need to mirror this eye onto the other side. So being selected this eye, come to this modifier once again and add this mirror. So now come to the mirror options. So in mirror object, select this object here. So now you can see we got other eye also reflecting now. So we got this Pac-Man with eye ready. So now we can apply these modifiers. So let me apply all the modifiers here. So now if I play this, you can see the eyes will not be following the movement. So first we need to attach them. So let the placement be like this. So now being selected this eye, Hold shift key and select this above sphere and control plus P and select this object key transform option. So now if I play this, you can see that eyes will be attached. So now let's see how we can add movement animation for this Pac-Man. So in order to do that, first we need to create an empty because we need to have this whole Pac-Man as a single object. But now if you want to animate, you can see this will be separate object and this will be separate object and it will be difficult to animate the position movement. So we need to make these two separate objects as single object by using an empty. So go to this add empty, select this cube here. So let me increase the scaling of this cube and let me place this the center so that it covers the Pac-Man completely. So now select this above half sphere. Now hold shift key, select this below one. Now again select this empty, now press ctrl plus P and select this object keep transform options. So now if I select this empty and now I can move the Pac-Man completely here. So you will have this animation and at the same time we can do the movement animation. So now let me show you one thing. So beyond the first frame, let me place the Pac-Man here, press I on the keyboard, add a keyframe for location, move to the last frame. Let me bring the Pac-Man here, press I on the keyboard, add a keyframe for location. So now you can see we got this Pac-Man animation done. But here the movement is slow. So let me expand this one. Select this both keyframes by pressing A on the keyboard, press T and select this linear curve. So now we will have the same movement. If you want, you can increase the speed. So here let me reduce the distance here so that we will get this animation a bit fast nice so if you want to add plane we can add the plane so go to this add mesh select plane here press s increase the scaling a bit so press s x sorry y and increase the scaling y axis nice 
So now if I play this, you can see we got our Pac-Man animation. So now let's see how we can apply materials. So let's move on to this material viewport. Let me select this above one. Come to this material properties, add new material. So come to this shading option here. Click on the shading tab. So where is this Pac-Man here? So here we got the Pac-Man. Okay. So now being selected this principal BSD, you press Ctrl plus T for Node Wrangler. If you are not enable Node Wrangler, go to this Edit, Preferences, Add-ons and here look for Node. So by default this Node Wrangler will be unchecked, enable it, save those preferences. Okay. After that select Principal BSDF and press Ctrl plus T and now in these nodes we can add any texture. So here let me add a material onto this or texture map onto this. So let me open, come to this downloads and here I got this metal scratch. So now we can see we got that metal scratch. So it is looking bit stretched. So select this above one, press tab on the keyboard for edit mode, press A to select all the vertices or edges. Now press U on the keyboard and select this smart UV project and OK. So now it will be fixed and let me repeat the same with this below one. So here you can see I have added some materials onto this plane also. Now let's move on to this render viewport. So here the scene is looking dark because there is no light in the scene. So let me add an HDR. So come to this world properties, color, environment texture. So here we can add any HDR. So I have downloaded a free HDR from Polyheaven. So I will load that one. So let me open and let me select this here. So here you can see we got this light in the scene. Now come to this render settings, enable ambient occlusion and distance, let it be five and enable screen space reflections, refractions and come to this film options and make it transparent. Fine. So now if you want to add shadows, we can do that by adding sunlight. So go to this add light, add sunlight here. So select the light. Let me place this here. Control Z, press Z, Y. So press R and let me rotate here so that we get some rotation here. Okay. So in this way, we can create these Pac-Man animations in Blender easily. So hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial. If you have learned anything new, please like, share and subscribe my channel to support me. So we'll meet in the next video. Until then, signing off. Take care. Bye.